The genus techniques of mosquitoes bite. Mosquitoes, those brazen little buggers that buzz off with a belly full of our blood. And we loofu. They can even ruin a nice picnic in the park, camping out with your friends and family, or even in your own humble house. Mosquitoes are the single worst thing about summer. Why do they have to bite? And why? Does the bite itches like crazy? It is time we get some answers about the genus techniques of mosquito bites. Nature is definitely a strange thing indeed. There are so many exotic, extreme, rare creatures that can be called miracle of the nature. But mosquitoes? Come on! They are nothing like that. They are numerous in numbers and they can come in flocks just about anywhere you go. Jeez! First of all, mosquitoes are ancient critters, which has evolved between 500 and 100 million years ago. That means even the dinosaurs weren't free of their irritating presence. Can you imagine a T-Rex trying to swat one away with his little hand? <sighs> Ooh, how annoying! And of course, to make the matter worse, they are everywhere on this planet, with the exception of Antarctica. Maybe Africa map should have been placed in Antarctica, because we have a lot of mosquitoes issues. Chances are, the first human being on this planet were beaten by mosquitoes, probably more than once in their lifetime. There are about 3,000 different species of mosquitoes all around the world, and all they need to survive is some warm water and a warm meal. Nah, I am not talking about your grandma home cooking. They only have interest in what is pumping through your veins. Yep, your blood. You said it right. Then, so how did they become adapted to feed on blood? Well, let's get one thing straightened out from the beginning. Not all mosquitoes suck blood. I am not talking about different species of the insect but about several differences between male and female mosquitoes. The female mosquitoes are referred to as Anopheles mosquitoes, which has the ability to suck human blood, while the male mosquitoes feed solely on nectar. This might sound as if all men on health were completely vegetarian by nature, with such critical differences in feeding behavior between males and female mosquitoes is extremely rare. But the good news is, you can tell the difference between the male mosquitoes and the female mosquitoes. Male mosquitoes are a bit smaller than female mosquitoes, and if you see one nearby with a fancy looking feather antenna, don't rush to smack it just yet. It is a male, and under any circumstances, it will not bite you. You see, the wings of a female mosquito move so swiftly that they resonate on a very high frequency from 300 to 500 beats per second which makes those annoying high pitch buzzing sound that can make you run around in your house with a slippers in your hand. A mosquito lifespan is only about a month or two which is good news for the female mosquitoes because the male has a shorter lifespan which is around two weeks. Ah, Jesus, With all this time, the female mosquitoes must keep busy, especially since their job is a lot harder, because they need to find a source of blood meal to be able to produce eggs. But I will go into more details about that later. Once their eggs are ready, it is time for them to find a nice place with standing water to release them. And that is exactly why you should not have any standing water near your house if you don't want mosquito invasion. I am sure you might feel protected with the box sapper you picked up at Walmart or on Amazon hanging in front of your porch or backyard. Sorry, not much useful here. Contrary to popular belief, mosquitoes don't search for their prey by looking for light. Well, if they don't use light, then how did they find you? Let's break it down. They have a variety method, but they mostly use scent. More specifically, they are sniffing for your body heat 
And one thing every living breathing things produce constantly, which is carbon dioxide or CO2. Every time you exhale, you release a load of CO2 flying around in the air. A mosquito can send a tiny concentration of pure CO2 in the air from more than 75 feet away. Hey, I have a perfect idea. Why don't you just hold your breath so that the CO2 won't be released? Crap, that is not going to work either. Why? Because they have a couple of things to help them find you. Number one, they have compound eyes with hundreds of lenses to give them a wide vision and a tiny hair all over their body that guide them towards the movement of a big prey, which is us, the humans. Here is how it helped them. Remember the last time you were outside cutting your grasses or chilling in your own house? Your body is moving the hair around you and the tiny hair on mosquitoes' body can sense this. But the true mystery of mosquitoes is in their feeding habits. What you perceive only as a short sting bite, it is in fact a long ingenious process. Ah, I hear when for you need that. When a mosquito finds its prey, it approaches very carefully, but the buzzing sound from their wings kind of gives them away. But I guess there is nothing they can do about that. And the task is even more difficult for them. Since they need 3 minutes to fill their belly with your blood, that's 3 minutes of a constant threat of being smashed by you, their prey. A mosquito mouthpiece, or proboscis as it is called, is far more complex than just a sharp straw to suck your blood through. It consists of 6 separated long and thin parts called stylet. Yep, they stick not one but six needle in you. Some of them even have razor sharp teeth that can cut through your skin. Other part of the mosquito's feeding equipment serve different purposes. For instance, some of their particles find blood vessels in the skin and others inject mosquito saliva. The saliva is crucial in their whole process. Remember, they need around 3 minutes to get their belly full of blood, but the most dangerous part is the moment they pierce the skin because that's when the prey can feel the bite. So the mosquito injected saliva immediately after it bites you. The saliva consists of more than 100 different components with organic substance called enzymes. They serve one purpose to stop your blood from clotting and it improves its flows to their belly. There are also other components used like a local anesthesia which prevents you from feeling pain during the bite. From the moment they are in, the prey won't feel anything until the mosquito leaves and the bite mark started itching and the reason for that reaction is simple. Most people are allergic to those enzymes and I say most people because there are those rare individuals who will not eat at all if a mosquito bite them. Hmm, that must be nice. I wish I have such skin. With all this information given to you regarding the genus techniques of mosquitoes bite, the true question is, why do they need blood? Especially if I told you earlier that the male mosquitoes survive only on nectars. Female mosquitoes need blood to develop eggs. More specifically, she needs loads of protein and iron, which our blood happens to be filled and rich in it. After a good meal and a belly bloated full of red stuff, a mosquito will need a day or two just to digest the blood, then lays her eggs and the whole cycle starts all over again. Good God, not again. Am I going to be beaten by the mosquitoes again? Yep, they are coming back for your blood. But the good news is, we as humans are well prepared for their invasion, no matter how many of them come. My only advice for you is to use a method that masks your scent. 
like candles, herbs, or spray. But the best trap are probably the ones that uses science to attract the mosquitoes to decrease their number of masses by producing carbon dioxide that they seek. However, any repellent will do the trick so that you are not left itching like I do. I was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria, where mosquitoes widespread is very prevalent and I have been bitten by Anopheles mosquitoes. I have gotten sick and I have gotten better. So protect yourself at all costs from mosquitoes bite. Let me know what you use to protect yourself against mosquito bite in the comment section down below. As for me, I still find the good old techniques very effective. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Back to Learn and Co and smash the like button. Thank you for watching. God bless you and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Rah.